Hi, welcome to this episode of What's Going On With Shipping. My name is Sal McCogliano. I'm an associate professor of history at Campbell University, a former merchant mariner and an adjunct professor in maritime industry policy for the U.S. Merchant Marine Academy. On this episode, we're going to look at the fire that's currently happening on board the motor vessel Express Pearl off of Colombo, which is off Sri Lanka in the Indian Ocean. Uh, if you're unfamiliar with this story, let me get you up to speed. Uh, the vessel, the uh, uh, Express Pearl, is a story from Splash 24-7, has now been abandoned by the crew. Uh, the crew has been able to get off, but the fire is now fully engulfed the vessel, and the vessel is on fire off the port as we speak. A series of explosions took place on board the vessel, and currently the vessel is about 50 miles uh, away from uh, uh, the shoreline and currently ablaze. So let's break this story down a little bit and talk about what happened because this, this was a long laborious story that actually went on. So this ship is part of a, of, of a uh, company called Express and Express is a feeder service. They operate small vessels that operate between ports. They are not the huge, large, ultra large container ships like uh, Ever Given and other vessels that we've talked about. These are vessels that go into those large ports, pick up containers from vessels like Ever Given and then move them around. Uh, if you look at her, there she is right there. She's the 17th largest container liner company in the world. 137,000 box, only 0.6%. Not huge at all, but it's a major carrier. I got to say, 136,000 boxes is actually quite, excuse me, 137,000 boxes, quite a lot. Uh, and so Express Feeders provides a, a key service, particularly in the Far East, in the Indian Ocean, in the Pacific area. And this is the story that's been released. Express has been releasing news updates on this. This is their fourth update on the vessel, what exactly has happened. And this is what they're reporting right here, that all crew members have been safely evacuated from the vessel after the fire incident on board the vessel. Despite the best efforts of salvers and firefighting tugs, the blaze has spread overnight, fanned by strong winds. With the crew's safety of utmost importance, decision was made to evacuate them. Uh, and they're continually to work with the Sri Lankan authorities to deal with this situation. So let's recap this story. So this story began actually quite a few days ago. This is from May 21st, so four days ago, of a cargo fire that erupts on board the Express Pearl off Sri Lanka. Now, Express Pearl is a fairly new vessel. You'll see right here, she's an interesting vessel because number one, she's smaller than most. She also contains cranes, something you don't see in a lot of container ships. This is what's called a geared container ship. Most container ships go into ports and they use container cranes that are in the ports. However, ships like Express Pearl go to smaller ports, ports that may not have gantry cranes and the ability to offload. So these vessels have cranes mounted on them to be able to pick containers off themselves and discharge them. In this case, her cranes are mounted on the port side of the vessel. They're off center. You don't see them too much mounted in the center anymore because it takes up too much room. It's better to offset them to one side and to do that. And what you see here is this fire that's on board the vessel. Uh, the Sri Lankan Navy received a distress call on Thursday, May 20th from the vessel. The vessel was about nine and a half miles uh, northwest of Colombo Harbor. She was coming into Colombo, carrying 1,486 containers, including some with nitric acid, 25 tons, along with several other uh, chemicals and cosmetics that have been loaded in India. And this is a big issue on container ships, hazardous material, the loading of hazardous material on board vessels. Understand when ships load containers, they don't open up the boxes and make sure everything is properly braced and stowed on the vessel. Lots of times, a lot of issues you have with containers is the material inside the containers may be fine for going down the road, but when you put them on a ship and you go through the rocking motion of a ship, the yaw, the pitch, the, the heel, that will knock material loose. And it's not uh, unusual then for breakage to take place. In this case, with chemicals, you could have a spill, you can have a spark. And what they had on board was a fire, obviously, the fire that happened on board. Uh, they're saying that the result of it happened as a result of chemical reaction. If you look at container ship fires, most container ship fires happen from containers within the, the vessel catching fire. The problem you do have too with this is how do you get to those containers? Uh, there's some more uh, dramatic pictures here that I'll show you of the vessel on fire here. You'll see some more there. One of the problems is you can get to the containers on the outside. You can hit them with water spray from tugs like this from the outside. But if the container is in the interior, if it's inside the stack, 
it's almost impossible to get at. Uh, it's hard to open the container. Even if you open the container to get fire hoses in there, to be able to get a, a water stream in there is nearly impossible. Usually if the container is actually below decks, it's better because you can seal that area, flood it with CO2. You can basically knock the air out, break the fire triangle or fire tetrahedron as people like to say, and you can do it. But here what you see is tugboats coming out here and attempting to extinguish the fire. And you'll see in here that she's loaded with containers from different shipping firms. That's typical from all over the place. And it looked like at this point that things were getting under control. This is the statement here that was put out uh, right here. The vessel has taken all precautionary measures throughout the night. However, firefighting is still underway with assistance of tugs from local authorities. Uh, closely monitoring the situation will duly inform affected customers of the development. And so that was the story back on Thursday. Then you have this story right here. This story came out on May 24th. So this was yesterday. Story come out. Chemical Fire and Express Pearl under control off Colombo, according to the Sri Lankan uh, operator. Now, the vessel is off the port of Colombo. Now, the vessel was not allowed to come into Colombo. The Sri Lankans would not allow the vessel into the port. And one of the reasons was they were worried about not just fire, but an explosion, an explosion that, that could happen. And the reason for, for that fear, I will tell you, is because of an incident that happened earlier this year. This was an image of the explosion that took place in Beirut last year. Uh, the Beirut explosion was not on board a ship, but a cargo that was on board a ship had been impounded in the port, offloaded, and then due to welding or working going on, they ignited it, ammonium nitrate, <coughs> to me, fertilizer. And it had a catastrophic impact on the port. I mean, destroyed a good chunk of the port downtown, killed hundreds of people, uh, just, just devastating. And obviously, they did not want to see that happen in the port of Colombo in Sri Lanka. And so the vessel was ordered to stay off. Well, then this happened. We see the follow-up here with the vessel. This is the story from uh, uh, G Captain right there. The fire has fully engulfed the vessel uh, and the ship has now been evacuated. Obviously, the, the, the heat, the interior fire had not been extinguished. It had been smoldering, smoldering, smoldering. You have a container that fails, all of a sudden it vents, air gets to it, and now you just see this happen. This is a problem with containers. Containers will heat up kind of like compartments in a vessel. And since you can't get around it and surround it, one of the things you do in a vessel fire is you don't just fight the fire in a single compartment. You got to get above, below, in front, to the side, all around it, and make sure it's cool. And that is something they obviously could not do. And now the fire is running the length of the vessel here. You'll see these images of the fire and you're seeing the stacks begin to collapse right here you're getting distortion in the hull and more than likely this vessel is going to go down because of this fire this fire is going to cause flooding of the vessels because of fatigue of the of the steel and more than likely we'll see the the vessel wind up going down uh, this was a video that was done let me go ahead and show you this video here this is showing you the fire let me see if i can get this up here to full there we go so this is the uh, image of the fire running across the vessels right there. And this is the worst fear for mariners. Fire is the worst. It is, it is the, the, the worst thing to deal with, especially when you think about the fact that on board a vessel like this, you have a crew of maybe about 20, 25 people on board. You can see containers coming off the vessel right there. That's containers falling off. The stacks will begin to collapse. They'll start to, to, to pile in on each other. And again, you, you're seeing the burning here along the hull. The hull will start giving way. She'll start to flood. And, and it's just the worst case scenario. And, and again, you don't know what's in all these containers. Uh, what's, what Anything can burn. Uh, one of the worst materials right now is lithium batteries because of the energy stored in lithium batteries. They have a, amazing problems to have it. Looks like she's at an anchor right here. You can see the anchor chain out. So she must've gotten in close, close enough to shore, at least in the shallow enough area where she can drop her hook. But the crew has been abandoned from the vessel. We know that all the crew has been accounted for according to Express. Uh, uh, the latest update, but basically the vessel will be a, a goner. It, it's not clear that they'll be able to salvage it. If there's anything left, I'll be surprised. But you can expect to see the rest of these containers that go with the heat inside here. You're in thousands of degrees by this point. And so nothing's going to stop this from running between it. You can see the flames coming between the stacks right there, which means it's in the interior of the stacks. Uh, it's just going to run the entire length of the vessel. So very difficult to do. This is a danger of, of, of containers. It really is because you don't always know what's in them. 
because of the nature of containerization, the amount of containers we move over 80 million a year by sea, uh, it, it's, it's extremely difficult. And even when you bring in salvage efforts to help extinguish the fire with the outside tugs that we saw in some of those earlier uh, images there, uh, you're still not able to do it. You see a, a salvage vessel coming here right now, uh, right alongside, probably picking the crew up at that point uh, to get them off. But again, you have to worry about secondary explosions. You don't know what's in all these containers. And, and by this point, you have to weigh the issue here of safety versus what you're going to get back from, from salvaging this vessel. Obviously, the owners want to salvage the vessel, the, the container you know, ca cargo on board, their owners want to save the cargo, but you can see here, uh, it's gonna be really difficult. Plus the water you start flowing on here, is gonna start flooding the vessel. Every time you spray water onto a vessel, every gallon of water you use for firefighting is a gallon of water, you got to get off the vessel. And it's, it's just the worst case scenario, fire at sea, absolutely the, the, the worst case scenario you can envision. Let me uh, fast forward here. I think it's pretty much this, this whole level here and you can see it running through the stacks there. So anyway, this is the Express Pearl off of Colombo, uh, which is in the Indian Ocean. Uh, the Sri Lankan Navy and uh, Sri Lankan forces have been there to assist. Everyone's been saved, which is the, the one piece of good news uh, about this. But basically, you're getting ready to see a, a vessel burn to the waterline, basically. And uh, we'll follow up with it and see if there's any new news coming into it. So thanks for tuning in. I'm Sal Mercagliano. Uh, if you enjoy the video, uh, please subscribe. Uh, give it a thumbs up to like it and uh, also hit the bell so you'll be alerted about new videos as it happen. Again, high seas, maritime, there's always something going on with shipping around the world. And unfortunately, this is the norm as opposed to uh, just routine. Uh, it's a dangerous occupation and moving freight is, is, is always uh, challenging. So thanks for tuning in.